the 2.7 special live stream of Honkai Star Rail was a massive success in my personal opinion and in a lot of the community's opinion because of what was announced. Now, we got a bunch of news regarding version 2.7 and 3.0 that I really want to dive into. So today, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Don't forget to check out my ever wonderful sponsor, Gamersubs. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off. We do have a bunch of stuff that are a lot of pre-orders right now. With the Hololive collab, we got a, a Lena Lazar collab. A bunch of really, really cool stuff coming to Gamersub. So make sure to use code TYSTRA for 10% off and get yourself some awesome, wonderful subs. I'm just saying, man. Anyways, let's dive in. Let's dive into what happened for the version 2.7 special live stream. Now, of course, we're on Hoyo Lab for this re recap. I think that... Uh, I might use Hoyo Lab a little bit more, in my personal opinion. I think that it's not bad. <laughs> but first things first, we're going to go by, by the recap of what Honkai Star Rail has here. So uh, it's going to be a little out of order, just a little bit. So first things first, we get new party cards. Now, there's the actual party car itself where we actually get to like have a little seating area. We can like go get drinks, blah, 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 all that stuff. I think that's cool. It's a nice little scenery thing. I don't think that's really something that's like game breaking. But what is something that's going to even have its own effect is we get our own room. Our room was the storage closet. But why is the storage closet like 50 times bigger than anybody's room? Well, now it's our room. That's what we get. So I know that a lot of people have been wanting this for a while. I really hope that it's going to be like the Serena Teapot, but from what it looks like, it's not going to be. It's going to be more so like we build the room first and then we get like one section where we put all of these like trophies and achievements that we got, like, you know, like little knickknacks that we get from each planet or each major story quest. Um, which I kind of figured would be the case, and I think that's a little bit nicer to deal with than an actual full-on teapot. But I would have loved to actually be able to, like, change the room around the way I want. But I digress. I think it's really... It's a, it's a feature that wasn't, like, a big feature that was needed. But I am very happy with the fact that we are getting it. Now let's go ahead and dive into the new characters for 2.7. Sunday is the first of the two, uh which I'm very excited for. I think that having Sunday or waiting until now to do Sunday was kind of weird, especially since it's the end of uh, the 2.0 series. And Sunday was the main antagonist for a majority of 2.0. So I thought that was a weird choice, but at the same time, I am very happy that he's finally released. Um, it looks like it's going to go over his story a little bit or after he did the things that he did. I am hoping that he becomes a Stellaron Hunter. I think that would be really, really cool for him to be part of that ragtag team. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And then, of course, my wife, <coughs> Fugue, or sorry, Fugue, um, because I guess that's her actual pronunciation. And people have been like, okay, I'm, I'm going to address this now. To everybody out there that, like, when we go into drip marketing and... You know, the names aren't pronounced in the drip marketing, right? I do not care about pronunciation. I'm going to pronounce it the way that I see it until it is corrected by the official sources of Hawkeye Star Rail or any gotcha game. Like, holy Christ, man. Like, everybody who comments on my TikToks, my YouTube, and Instagram about pronunciation, I'm just sitting here laughing. Y'all are crazy. Like, I care. I care now because it's like it's annoying to get constantly um actually this character is pronounced uglier I don't I don't care <laughs> off the initial rip I'm gonna wait until it's an official but yes Fugue is actually going to be coming to Hawkeye Star Rail and I'm very excited for her because I I fell in love with Ting Yoon right Ting Yoon's my girl um, I love this character. I love the whole backstory of the amnesia and dealing with Fantilia. So I'm very excited to dive deeper into that story. So now we know for certain what actually happened. Then, of course, we're getting a bunch of light cones. This light cone looks cool. Uh, a grounded ascent for Sunday and the Fugue light cone 
Long Road Leads Home. I'm definitely getting that one. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, phase one banners are going to be Sunday, and of course, Jing Yuan getting a rerun with the four stars being uh, Ching Yi or Queen Yi. I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I, I just. It's annoying. <laughs> uh, Arlen and Ting Yun, which I'm very surprised that Ting Yun is on the phase one banners. I thought that she would be on phase two. But phase two is going to be Fugue and Firefly, wifey's galore, right? Uh, with the four stars Gallagher, Yukong, and Misha, right? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, phase two seems like the more, more bang for your buck type of uh, summons. It depends on how broken Fugue is, but having Firefly there and then Gallagher on top of that is insane. Now let's get on to some of the uh, awesome stuff. In 2.7, we are getting a free five star. That's right, free five star from the nine uh, standard banner characters. So that means Bailu, Yang Queen, uh, Welt, uh, Gepard or Japard, uh, Clara, Gronia, Himiko, well, seven. I don't know why I said, oh, I know why I said nine, because I got confused because there's two welts and two Japards. But out of the seven, don't mind me, I'm, I'm kind of dumb. I'm still waking up. Uh, but out of those seven characters, you get one for free. Now, in my personal opinion, the best two, or the two best choices are Brodia and Himiko. Um, but I don't think there'd be anything wrong with anybody going for a Clara. Uh, Welt is not bad now. He's, he's okay. Um, but I definitely say that Bronya and Himiko are your two best bets. Gift of Odyssey coming back. All Guys Star Rail continues to give us free stuff. Uh, Genshin, why are you not doing a Gift of Odyssey every single patch? I have no clue. It's, it's very frustrating as somebody who does play Genshin to be like, man, I'm never going to get free summons. Um, this is the first event, the Cosmic Home Decor Guide, which is going to be the event where we decorate our room. Uh, it looks like we get to decorate it the way, not the way we want, but the format of how we want. We also get Pom Pom new outfit, which he looks like a chef. So that's pretty cool, right? Uh, between the frames, a, uh, new picture event that's coming to... Okay, Star Well, I think it actually might be a rerun of sorts, but I don't know. I can't remember entirely. Uh, Pure Fiction, brand new grip mechanics, which I guess the grip mechanics is to help get people through Pure Fiction. And I'm kind of mixed thoughts on this. To me, like, it was always something to go through and be like, man, this is tough. I can't wait to actually beat it. Um, but I feel like now adding these grip mechanics from what it looks like makes it a little too easy. Um, I get it, like getting, like making it easier makes people want to play more, but at the same time, you don't want to starve your, um, player base that's very into Endgame. You don't want to starve them of something that's actually a challenge. Now, we still have Apocalyptic Shadow, which is the hardest of the three, but I feel as though Pure Fiction was already kind of just in the medium area, and now it's gonna be super super easy so i don't know i mean i will say free is free like if, I, if i'm able to be pure fiction and i'm able to get the stuff for like really easy i'm not gonna complain about that but i do think that if you're going to market it as an in-game uh uh thing and it's supposed to be difficult it's supposed to be difficult you know what i mean so uh divergent universe is getting another update with uh the human comedy uh, it's going to be adding another 20 levels, so we go up to level 100. Uh, it's also going to make it easier to get to these levels. Mm, a lot faster. Sorry, I just woke up, so I'm just trying to get everything going. Um, but it's going to be a lot easier to get to these levels, right? And to get the rewards of these levels. Um, there's also going to be a thing where it actually, um... It, it basically, what it's going to do is it's going to save our save file that we have at the end of the run for the entire patch, which is really cool. I think that's a that's an awesome change. Uh, Planet Fissure coming back. We already know. Realm of the Strange coming back as well, so that's really cool. Now we're getting on to the system updates here. Uh, Forgotten Hall, Memory of Chaos. The highest quick clear floor of the Forgotten Hall will be adjusted to floor 9 instead of floor 7, which is... Pog, I love that. Makes it a lot easier. I think that 
I, I know that Tectone has said this a couple times, but I think that Honkai Star Rail respects our time as players. Um, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, past resources deletion portal. There will be a portal to delete past resources on mobile clients, so you could delete some previous audio and graphics to save storage space. So stuff you can't go back on, you could you could get it deleted. Uh, Divergent universe save file prologued, which is exactly what I just talked about. And then story recap before starting a new Trailblaze mission, you could select a review of the summary of the previous Trailblaze mission. That's I think is really cool in case you forgot some stuff while you're going into the new uh, Trailblaze missions. And it's going to recap the stuff that you know about the story ahead, right? So I think that's really cool. Now, they did announce a bunch of 3.0 stuff, but I kind of want to save that for another video and discuss it more in detail. Um, but yeah, this this update was really, really good. Um, or this update live stream. Like, it showed a bunch of 3.0 characters that we're going to be seeing within the story and within the whole, like, landscape of uh, Amphorius. So, I'm very stoked on that. But overall, 2.7 was probably one of the better uh, update live streams that we've had in a very, very long time. I think it's, a, I would say, 7 out of 10. Because the wrap of live stream really ticked me off. Um, but I will say that the 2 point, actually, no, I give it an eight out of 10. I think that having the 2.7 stuff and the 3.0 stuff in it was very, very cool. Now, of course, I'm not going to talk about a bunch of the 3.0 stuff, but in the next video after my lighter, should you summon, which is going to be coming out tomorrow, I will be talking about all the 3.0 stuff and going into details of what I've been able to find. So anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Let me know what you think about 2.7. And of course, as always, we'll see you in the next episode. Please take care and be safe.